Hey, how's it going? I'm Brandon Yanofsky from mywpexpert.com, and today I want to show you how to set up the free WordPress backup plugin BackWPUp. So I've already gone ahead and installed BackWPUp, and after you've installed it, you'll see that on the left-hand side menu on your dashboard, you'll be able to access an area under BackWPUp, and you can click on Add New Job. And the way BackWPUp works is that it creates different jobs, and those jobs then control how backups are handled. So for this first job, we're just going to call it a, um, a daily backup. So I'm going to go ahead and just call daily backup. And I'm going to recommend that you just leave this default, just basically backup the database, backup files, and also include an installed plugins list. You can go ahead and leave the archive name um, how it is right here. And you can leave the archive format. The one setting you do want to change though is you want to change where you want to back it up to. So the backup to folder is one option, but that backs it up to a folder on the same server your site's installed on, which might not be the best option because we're backing up usually um, in case something goes wrong with the server. So I usually like to back it up to somewhere off site. I highly recommend either choosing Dropbox. So you would need a Dropbox account and you can hook those hook your WordPress site up with Dropbox or choosing an Amazon S3 service, which is basically Amazon storage. So I personally like to go to Amazon S3, so I'm going to select that for right now. And we'll go ahead and click Save Changes. Now we want to go to Schedule. And we want to start job with WordPress Cron. And what that will do is it will let us schedule when we want to actually do it, and I'll do it automated. So I'm going to say we're going to do daily. You can also select these other options if you'd like, but I'm going to do daily and say at 3 o'clock. So this will be 3 a.m. And I'm going to save changes. And then for our database backup, we can go ahead and leave everything checked. There's really no reason not to. Um, unless you have a database table, you just don't need backed up. But for the most part, I usually let all these um, stay selected. And again, we can leave all these options the same here. Um, if your database is extremely large, you might want to do a file compression. But for the most part, none is okay. And then for our files, we can usually leave everything as it is here. What you can do though is you can come through here and exclude certain files if you don't need them. So by default, they usually exclude the upgrade file, and they will also exclude the um, the backup folder because obviously you don't really need a backup of a backup, as you can see here. But if you have other folders you don't need, um, for instance, sometimes I will exclude certain themes that I'm not using, then you can do that here. And then you can also include certain folders that maybe aren't within the WordPress install. So maybe you have like PDFs, um, that are on your root directory or something like that, and you want to back those up as well, you can enter in the uh, the folders here. And we can leave all the other options here the same. Go ahead and click Save Changes. And then under Plugins, we have the option here to export a file with a list of all the plugins on our site. Um, we can just leave these options as they are. And then finally, you'll have the settings for where you're going to send the files to. So again, at the beginning, I selected Amazon S3. So it's going to ask me here to input all my Amazon info and select where I'd like to save the files to. Uh, if you are using Dropbox, usually it'll ask you to connect Dropbox with WordPress. And once you do that, you can just click Save Changes. And then once you're done, you can click Run Now up here at the top. Um, and then it'll run the backup. You can also view all your jobs by going over to the back to BP up and click jobs. And you can see here's our job here. We can run it also and it'll let us know the last time it was run and the next time it's going to run. And if you need to, once you start creating backups, you can click on the backups button here and you'll see all the backups you've created and you can restore or download those backups from here. So that's all there is to it. Um, let's go ahead and get back WP up installed, create your first job, and you will always have a backup of your site if, if anything ever goes wrong. All right, that's it for today. Be sure to visit mywpexpert.com for more WordPress tips, tutorials, and advice. 
and I will see you guys next time.